Hi, China guitar skeptic back at last. I'm so sorry for the long delay. I've been ill a couple of times. I've been away and I've been working on theatre productions on sound and lighting. So I've had no time to make a video and made the huge mistake on my 4th of July video saying I wanted to get into the studio and uh, or into the workshop I should say and do some work that afternoon and it's been over a month. Thank you for all the lovely and kind messages, uh, get well messages you've sent me. They really have helped. They've all given me a smile and uh, it's got me back on my feet much quicker. So thanks for that. I really appreciate that. I've got such a good uh, bunch of subscribers. So anyway, we're back with the next in the series on the, the Partercaster and I've got a few bits to show you that, I, that I've done since, um, since the last video. Most notably, if you can see that, I've had to chip out a little bit extra in the trim uh, hole and I'll show you a little bit closer up why that is. Okay, so the best way for me to illustrate this is by putting some string just some coloured string, fairly taut, through the first and sixth string um, grooves on the nut and then running it down the neck and as you will see what you really want to do is place the bridge so that those strings are equidistant from the outside edges of the of the neck and in order to achieve this I worked out that this side of the routing needed to be just a little bit deeper uh, because the the bridge couldn't move this far over so that's one test and the other thing is you want it to be above the pickup poles so I'll just quickly pop those on you'll see what I mean so here we go once again now with the um, with the um, pick guard and pickups in place uh, roughly you'll see that the the strings will line up over the pole pieces. Well, obviously, other than the uh, the angled bridge pickup. Incidentally, the easiest way to do this is with a nice piece of coloured string and just go through the trem um, on one side, and then back up through the uh, the sixth uh, position, like so. Okay. Um, so in order to get the bridge position right I did have to route out or route out sorry uh, a little bit extra here at the bridge and I'll quickly show you what that looks like and the way I achieved this was to um, was to do to drill at each corner mark out how much extra I needed to drill at each corner and then to file this out as you can see here I've got some rubbing back to do because I did manage to chip a piece off um, both at the front and also at the back here um, so I, I've got a little bit of uh, extra paint work to do and a bit of filling out but as you can see I've, I've taken this back by about eight to nine millimeters further just to widen this uh, and literally just to be able to fit in the, um, the Wilkinson style bridge so that's that Okie dokie. So the next job for us to do is to drill and put on the the neck onto the body, which we'll get on and do now. So before we drill, what we really want to do is just to double check the width of the the drill bit, and it wants to be that little bit smaller than the the screw that's going to go into the neck. And then we want to make sure the neck is in position, which I've already got it into. And then we're going to mark off the depth. The easiest way to set the depth is to only have the amount that you want the drill to go in out of the chuck of the drill. So very easy to set. And I just want a little bit less than the full depth of the screw. You see there I'm just letting the head show through. And then this wants to go into the drill to that depth and that's that. So here we are with the neck 
supported in the vise and the body as close on as we can get it and we're just going to attempt to come down directly levelly and just drill down You'll notice that I'm actually finishing a little bit um, shy of flush and that's simply because we also have to take into account the, uh, the plate, the neck plate. should be the the neck nicely drilled to put our neck plate on um, and as you can see where we previously doweled and filled those previous drill holes uh, this neck um, every neck is slightly different and these drill holes are somewhat off from the previous holes they're also somewhat off center but nothing too much to worry about there's plenty of meat left in the wood there to uh, to keep this bolted on so I'll now fix the neck to the guitar um, just as a test fitting uh, because we've still got to finish off the spraying and the like. Another very good idea um, with rubber jawed clamps is to clamp the neck to the body in the correct position um, when you first tighten these screws up because obviously they do have to cut and otherwise they will push away from the body. So that's what I've done here. I've got these clamped up and now I can begin to screw these down and bite into that neck and doing them, oh sorry, opposite corners so that we keep that neck on there true and I'll now screw the rest of these in and show you the finished article in just a moment and there we have it folks the neck first time screwed into the body and uh, we're starting to get there so that's that I can now take this off I always like to put it on as a test fitting just to make sure that it's all correct and while it's on there we'll work out the scale length and the correct position of the brick and um, those of you that um, do this will know that the way to do it is to measure from the nut to the 12th fret at the centre of the neck and yeah go on we'll do this in inches because I I know that this is a 25 and a half inch scale length and you'll see there if we come up to the 12th fret there 12 and 3 quarter inches give or take if I get that straight it's 12 and 3 quarter inches um, to the 12th fret and then we also then know that from the 12th fret to the average middle of the bridge position is also going to be 12 and 3 quarter inches so that trim the if I mark this off just so you get an idea sits forward in there and these will sit at 12 and 3 quarter inches from the nut as well so with that overhang that shouldn't be any problem at all because we've got about what 10 mil overhang there so we've got 10 mil that this can overhang and what we'll do is um, I'll do that again with the uh, with the bridge on I'll pop the bridge into its rough position because this is only a backwards and forwards measurement and then I'll take that measurement again from the 12th fret and there we can see that most of our saddle sits at about 12 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, there's no great rocket science so, so, so long as you've got some adjustment movement 
um, left in your saddles because these can be moved backwards and forwards to set the intonation but the main thing is that the bridge is in pretty much the right position um, and uh, that is pretty much in the right position so the next video will be um, fitting this bridge we'll be marking off the the center of these holes drilling these and fitting uh, this Wilkinson bridge nice heavy Wilkinson bridge and I hope to have that video for you very soon in the meantime hope you've enjoyed this one take care and wishing you lots of great rocking